welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as online election system or online voting system so basically election is a tedious process especially in situations like COVID waves the physical voting system makes some complex process so to overcome such kind of issues we propose this online voting system concept and this is the system architecture where we have user and admin and you can see the process of it so basically this project is being developed in Java and we have used Apache NetBeans IDE 13 so let us see the execution of the project so first open Apache NetBeans IDE 13 so just go to file menu click open project now go to the project source code location and in the source code you can see online election system just select it and click open project now kindly wait till the complete project has been loaded into the NetBeans IDE. We will minimize it. Meanwhile, we will attach the database. So just go to the MySQL administrator. Enter the username and password. And now you can go to the restore option in the left side panel. And then you can select the open backup file in the right side. Now go to the source code location where you can see the, the database folder in it. So just go to the database folder and select this election system database and then click start restore. Now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message click close now you can close this mysql administrator now we'll come back to the apache netbeans ide 13 so now you can see the complete project has been loaded so first let us start the apache server so just go to services part and select this server and then click and then click start apache start the apache tomcat server and after some time you can see the authentication required message where you can enter the username and password which you have configured during the apache netbeans id i have given admin and admin and then click ok uh, and now the apache tomcat server is started so now let us go to the project tab and then click the election on election system right click it and then click run and kindly wait till the complete project is being transferred to the web part to the browser part So now you can see the project has been transferred to the browser part. So here you can see the project home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title online election system or online voting system. And here you can see the entities user and the admin. So first let me go to the user part. So in the user part you can see the user login with the email id and the password. So as I am a new user I don't have the username and the password. So first thing is like the user should register for it and then only they can proce process for the voting process so first let me click the register button so once after clicking the register button you can see user register page where you need to enter the detail that is asked for so let me enter my name date of birth you need to enter the email id and select your gender phone number an address and the password and after entering all the details in this user registration page click sign up and now you can see the registration is successful message and then click ok so once after the user is registered you cannot be able to directly enter the details let us see what happens if I enter so let me enter the email ID and the password that I have used during the registration process and then click login 
you can see your user id registration is under verification kindly wait for the approval so even if you are giving the exact username and password it will not be logged into the voting part because the admin should verify it so only the approved users can able to log in into the system and they can see the election process or they can make the voting process of it so after getting this message click ok now let me navigate to the admin part so this is the admin login page so here you need to enter the username and the password for the admin so the default username and password is admin and admin and then click login and once the login is successful click ok it will be navigated to the home page of the admin screen now here you can see the options of add election add candidate view result view voters log out so let us see these options later first let us see view voters so now if you click view voters you can see who are all the voters available there now you can see the user id 1004 jayaprakash jp1685 the date of birth the pondicherry address the phone number and you here you can see the status pending so this is these all the details that i have entered right now during the registration and you can see this user is pending so only if the up use the admin part and ad approves this user the user can able to log in into the system so let me click approve so now you can see the election online election system registration is approved and click ok so now if you see this list has been updated and now you can see the pending has been changed to approved part so now let me log out and now let me go to the user part and check what happens so in the user part now i am entering the username and the password same username and password which i have used during the registration and earlier and now click login and now you can see the login is successful and click ok and now you can see the home screen for the user page so in the user part you can see two options that is election and logout so first if you click election you can see what are all the elections that is available so currently there is no election available in it so the user cannot make any kind of vote in it okay so now let me log out go to the admin part so in the admin part the first thing is like adding the election you can add n number of elections in it and uh, you can select the date of it so once if you have selected the end date after that the user cannot able to log in or make the voting process of it so let me show you by adding some election in it so here here in the add election process if you click add election you can navigate to the add election page in the add election part you can enter the election name for example let me like uh, enter the name as pm election 2022 so let me add such name for this election like this you can enable to name as per your wish and now let me select the end date for it so you can you can select the end date whichever you require for it so let me select the end date as august 15th and then click submit so now i have added the election now if you go to the user part so this is the user part in the user tab let me log into the user now if you go to the elections in the user part you can see the menu has been updated the drop down has been updated to pm election 2022 so you can select the election whichever you in this way you can able to add the n number of elections in the add election part and that will be updated here in the user part so here right now i am selecting pm elections in the user part and click submit so it will be navigated to the uh, pm election 2022 the details of the candidate so candidate name party name these details currently there is no any details in it so now let me go to the admin part so in the admin part you can see add candidate part so let so first let me add the candidate so first let me click add candidate in the add candidate page it will be sh showing what are all the elections available so first let me select this pm election 2022 this has been added right now and enter the candidate name let me say example let me add as modi and the party name the address phone number and you can select the photo of it so just select a small size photo so there will not be any 
error in it so let me after selecting the photo you can just preview this so this is the ad candidate part so i have entered all the details now click submit so now let me refresh in the elections part and if you see you can see the candidate profile name party name vote for it so this has been updated in the user part now again in the admin part let me add some other candidate so let me select the election as pm election 2022 and let me enter the candidate name the party name the address the phone number and select the photo and then click submit and now if you refresh the user part you can see the detail which i have entered is been updated here okay in such way you can just enter any of the details so i am adding some other candidate called jp party name jp address pondicherry phone number and adding some image for it and then click submit so now in the user part let me refresh and check it so now you can see the three candidates has been updated for the user part so user can able to vote for any of this so now in the user part let me vote for the candidate named jp now let me select this vote so now you can see the voted successful message and click ok so now if i am log out from the user part if i am again logged in with the same user and if i am again selecting the election pm election 2022 and here you can see now it is there is no any option shown here and it is shown that already voted because i have already voted the single user can only vote one time and they cannot make any kind of repetitive voting or fake vote so for that purpose we have created this option now let me log out from the user part so now in the election part you can see view results in the view results you can see the election that has been done and here you can see pm election click submit now you i have voted for only one so now you can see the candidate names and num total number of votes received so now here you can see the vote is 0 0 and 1 so now the leading is like jp so pm elections is won by jp right now so it will be shown like this so now let me add some other user and show you so let me go for user part and create some new user and show you So now I have created a new user. So go to the admin part and check the the new user is been updated now here. So it is seen pending. So let me approve it. So now it has been approved. So now let me log in into the user part with the created username and click login. Now I have logged in with the created new user. So let me select the elections now and now you can see the voting option has been given here so now let me vote for uh, jp again and here you can see the voted successful message and click ok now if i am again selecting you can see it has been already voted message so the user can vote only one time and then let me log out now if you go to view results part here you can see the selecting the election and then click submit 
and now you can see the vote is been updated to 2 earlier it was 1 and it now you can see 2 so according to the number of votes received the final result will be displayed and also <coughs> after the end date the user cannot be able to vote and only one vote can be given by the user and let me log out and this is all about the project online election system or online voting system using java web application and thank you for watching